Today, Muslims, all Muslims, they forget their history. They forget the history of Islam. They forget the history of faith. They are not interested in the history of Islam. They are interested in the history of their own nationalities. But when it comes to Islamic history, they take nothing from it. Because in reality, the Muslims were made to forget the history. Because the pages of history now are filled with the betrayal and tyranny of those who want to hide it. But Muslims must know their history. If they want to take a single step forward, Muslims must know where they fell down. The Seljuks came and they crushed the Crusaders when 500,000 Crusaders came. Sultan Al Aslan came with only 50,000 soldiers and he made them all dress in white. He said to them, Today is our wedding day. That is why we are wearing white. With our lives, we will stop these Crusaders. We are going to open another history book to the world. And that Seljuk army stood and defended the world of Islam. And then the sons of Osman rose, and the Ottomans for 800 years held Islam high. They protected the holy lands. They protected the rights of the Muslims. They protected the rights of the non-Muslims. They held high the hadith of the Holy Prophet والسلام, who said, the Muslim Ummah is a unique Ummah among the whole of mankind. Their land is one. Their war is one, their peace is one, their honor is one, and their trust is one. They honored every nation inside the borders, and they especially showed honor and care to the Arabs, calling them the honored people. But then what happened? At the most severe and difficult point for the Sultan, for the Khalifa, for the Muslims, when the Ottomans were fighting on more than 20 fronts at the same time, the Arabs betrayed the Sultan. 